For nearly three decades, a magnificent white bird graced our skies, Concorde. It was more than an airplane, it was a symbol of progress, a delta-winged marvel that could outrun the sun. Flying Concorde meant leaving London after breakfast and arriving in New York before you left, bending time and connecting continents. To reach Mach 2, engineers solved problems no one had faced before. Special alloys for the airframe, hybrid engines with afterburners, and flights at 60,000 feet. From that altitude, passengers glimpsed the curve of the Earth, a view once reserved for astronauts. The takeoff was a raw display of power, and breaking the sound barrier was a subtle, thrilling moment. High above the weather, passengers sipped champagne in serene comfort, watching the world rush by below. Concorde was a British-French collaboration, driven by national pride and a vision of a faster, more connected world. It was a flying sculpture, moving at 1,350 miles per hour, proving that audacious dreams could become reality. The experience was exclusive, but it inspired everyone to imagine what was possible. Concorde set a benchmark for innovation reminding us to always look to the horizon. Its legacy continues to inspire engineers and dreamers to this day. Despite its brilliance, Concorde's dream couldn't last. Its greatest feature, supersonic speed, created its biggest problem, the disruptive sonic boom. Many countries banned supersonic flight over land, limiting Concorde to transatlantic routes. Operating costs were astronomical, it burned fuel at four times the rate of a 747, making tickets a luxury. Maintenance was complex and expensive, with only 14 jets ever built. The tragic crash of Air France Flight 4590 in 2000 shattered public confidence even though the cause was debris on the runway. The fleet was grounded for over a year, and the perception of risk lingered. After 9-11's air travel declined and Concorde's economics no longer made sense. In 2003, Concorde made its final flight, marking the end of an era. For the first time, aviation took a step backward in speed. Its demise was a mix of environmental concerns, high costs, and tragedy. Concorde taught us the challenges of supersonic flight noise, cost, and environmental impact. Its story became a blueprint for future innovators. Concorde's retirement left a void, but not the end of the dream. Engineers returned to the drawing board, determined to solve the problems that grounded Concorde. The sonic boom became the central challenge, how to fly fast without deafening the world below. Advanced computer modeling revealed that reshaping the aircraft could break up shock waves, turning the boom into a faint thump. Fuel efficiency was another focus. Lighter composite materials and modern engines promised far better performance. A lighter jet needs less thrust, burns less fuel, and becomes economically viable. Sustainability became essential. New jets must be cleaner, not just faster. The push for sustainable aviation fuels, made from renewable sources, could cut emissions by up to 80%. By combining lighter airframes, efficient engines and cleaner fuels, a sustainable supersonic future began to take shape. The dream was reborn, this time with the lessons of the past. Enter Boom Supersonic, leading the new era with its Overture jet. Overture aims to carry 6580 passengers at Mach 1.7 comma having travel times, London to New York in 3.5 hours. Unlike Concorde, Overture is designed for sustainability and affordability, with ticket prices similar to business class. Its symphony engine is quieter and more efficient, eliminating noisy afterburners and reducing airport noise. Overture will fly supersonic only over water, avoiding sonic booms over land. Boom is committed to net zero carbon running on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Major airlines have already placed orders showing confidence in this vision. Meanwhile, NASA's X-59 Quest tackles the sonic boom problem directly. Its long nose and sculpted wings are designed to create a sonic thump no louder than a car door. NASA will fly the X-59 over communities to gather data on public perception. If successful, this could change regulations and open up new supersonic routes over land. A New York to LA flight could take just a couple of hours. The X-59 isn't just a plane, it's a test of an idea that could reshape air travel. While the West revives supersonic travel, China looks to hypersonic flight, beyond Mach 5. The Eagle Hawk concept envisions connecting Beijing and New York in just two hours. It's a two-stage system. A carrier aircraft launches a smaller hypersonic craft which then accelerates to Mach 6 or 7. This approach allows for smaller specialized vehicles and avoids the need for massive engines at takeoff. The Eagle Hawk could even land vertically in city centers, making downtown to downtown travel possible. Imagine flying from Shanghai to London in hours, 
revolutionizing global business and personal connections. The challenges are immense, extreme heat, experimental engines, and safety concerns. Hypersonic flight is still a concept, but it pushes the boundaries of imagination. It's a bold vision, showing the global race for speed is just beginning. The future may be closer and faster than we think. Supersonic Flight's comeback is powered by a convergence of new technologies. Modern engines like those from Rolls-Royce and GE can supercruise, maintain supersonic speeds without afterburners. Advanced materials such as ceramic matrix composites make engines lighter and more efficient. Carbon fiber composites allow for lighter, stronger airframes and more aerodynamic shapes reducing fuel use and sonic booms. Sustainable aviation fuels made from waste or captured carbon can cut flight emissions by up to 80%. These fuels work in existing engines making speed and sustainability compatible. Powerful computing accelerates design engineers can simulate thousands of designs virtually perfecting aerodynamics and structure. This digital approach slashes development time and cost opening the market to new innovators. The combination of quieter engines, lighter materials, cleaner fuels, and advanced computing is making supersonic flight possible again. It's not one breakthrough but many, working together. The dream is becoming reality. Supersonic and hypersonic flight promise to shrink our world, not just our travel times. Crossing the Atlantic in three hours or the Pacific in four will erase old barriers. Business, medicine, and personal connections will move at the speed of imagination. Families separated by oceans could see each other more often. Long-distance relationships become manageable. Lunch in Paris, dinner in New York, no longer a fantasy, but a real possibility. This new age of speed could foster global understanding and empathy. Challenges remain, safety certification, economic viability, and scaling up sustainable fuels. But aviation's history is one of overcoming the impossible. We stand on the edge of a new golden age, powered by cleaner, quieter, smarter technology. The ambition of Concorde lives on, now guided by experience and innovation. Supersonic flight is about more than speed. It's about bringing people closer and building a better future. The white bird may have retired but its spirit is ready to soar again.